So if you've had this happen, we probably all have. Failed print, nearly done, hours and hours to get this far, and then it fails. My supports failed from underneath this. I'm going to show you how I can fix this without reprinting. It's pretty simple. There's the other part, and I'll show you how we got there. This is especially useful if you're going to be finishing the helmet, whatever the model is, by um, with filling, priming, and finishing, and painting, and all that, because then you can hide the seams between the separated parts. So I'm going to show you how I fix this in Orca Slicer. It's pretty much the same in every slicer. So now we need to get a good measurement from the very top of the model where it failed all the way down to the bottom of the platform. Use a good pair of calipers or if you have a ruler that'll work too. But you're going to want a ruler that's got some good fine measurements. You want a good millimeter measurement. Fairly accurate. And on this one I found the spot right by the tusk to be the best area to get a measurement from, but I'm going to check it in more than one spot to make sure that we're close. I'm not worried about the decimal. This one came out to 199 point whatever, so I'm just going to call it 199. So now assuming you saved your project file in your slicer, open that same project file and leave it as is when you printed it the first time. And we're going to use the cut tool. This, this puts a plane in, through your model, right through the middle, which you can manipulate with uh, rotating, and moving it up and down, left and right and whatnot. Wherever you put this is where the model will be cut. So I'm just gonna type in my measurement, where it says cut position Z, 199, and that's where we're gonna cut it. But I only wanna keep the blue one. The pinkish purplish one, I'm gonna unselect keep because I don't want that one. That's the lower part. I also have place on cut checked so that when it cuts it, it'll bring that piece down to the plate. And now you can just mess with your settings however you want to slice it. And then send it to your printer. Now I'll clean up the piece, I'll glue it to the rest of the model, and like I said before, since we'll be finishing this and with Bondo and putties and glazing, priming and painting and whatnot, this seam will be hidden. We'll file it down, sand it down, whatever we got to do. And that's it, not too hard to do. But let me know if you feel I left anything out, and I'll try to cover it for you.